Hello and welcome back. Look at this. Look where I am today. Easington Colliery for those that have just joined. So I've got a nice steady walk. Now we've moved slightly away from the coast and we're heading up towards the former site of Easington Colliery. So now the ground beneath me or the path beneath me is a little bit more stable. I'll take this opportunity for those of you that have just joined and for those of you that haven't spoken to me about my new Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And uh, a few people have said, what's with all the life begins at 50 and 462 days? Well, it's pretty simple. When I set my estate agency business up in 2013, which was not long after Emily, that's my wife, and Dylan, my son, and I moved from North London to North Yorkshire. Uh, I set the business up probably initially with some big egos and some big, uh, I don't know, corporate dreams, shall we say. Um, we made some really smart moves along the way. We made some stupid decisions, uh, which cost us dearly, but we bounced back from those, as you do in business. We've seen the ups and downs as well over the last few years, especially 2020. You couldn't have written it, could you? you couldn't have written it into the most craziest of book or sci-fi novel. So, it was only a few years ago, I was probably about 48, maybe, I decided that by the time I hit the big 5-0, by the time I become 50, that I would have my ducks in a row, start to take life a little bit easier, and uh, all the hard work that I'd put in over the years would eventually pay off, and uh, I could start to get on with doing the things that I enjoy doing the most, which is exploring and traveling and trekking and hiking, and uh, well, it didn't all go according to plan, so it actually took another 462 days from my 50th birthday to this actual day. This actual day now is 462 days, I believe. I hope, I hope I've got it right. This actual day, the 1st of December 2020 for the records, is actually 462 days after I turned 50. And here's my pledge to myself that I am actually out doing the things that I wanna do when I wanna do them. I'm still involved in the business, but I'm out here now in the northeast of England, County Durham, Easington Colliery, with the North Sea behind me, you can just see, just over there, that's the North Sea. And this is my first little trip out as a retired, semi-retired, I don't know. I'm not on the front line of my agency business anymore, but I'm still a business owner, so am I retired? I don't know. You let me know, chuck something in the comment box. Let me know, are you, are you retired if you're still a business owner? Um, or are you just lazy? Or are you reaping the rewards of all the hard work? I don't know. The main thing is I'm enjoying myself, Facebook. That's what I'm doing today. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a whale of a time up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me just stop, I'll give you one more little tour around so you can see. You see what I can see today. See what I can see today. Absolutely beautiful. So, brief synopsis then guys. Life begins at 50 and 462 days. Welcome to my Facebook page. Welcome to my new YouTube channel where I will be hitting the road, hitting the trails, hitting the hills, on foot, by bike, in my car. Hopefully next year we'll be back on our sailboat as well in the Greek islands. We're really looking forward to getting back out to the Greek islands, getting back on the boat, having a little cruise around, see what we can see. No better way to enjoy some sunshine than on a sailboat. I think I've already posted some pictures up. Five favourite pictures from my sailing adventures with my wife and Dylan. And we're, we're scheduled next year, COVID allowing, fingers crossed and all that. So uh, we're coming up to, I think it's called an obelisk. You can just see it behind me, just, um, just there. An obelisk 
which usually uh, marks the highest point of a particular area over a certain mile radius. So I'm guessing I've reached the highest point of the, the hill, the moor, whatever you call it up here, of Easington Colliery. And Easington Colliery was a, a deep shaft mine. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't what I call a, you know, like a, an open mine where they just dig into the side of the hill. Easington Colliery was, was one of many deep shaft mines and uh, it's evident there's been a lot of digging around up here and the, uh, the actual village of, uh, of Easington is, is behind me over there so you can see where we're going with the North Sea and, uh, and there's the obelisk so I'm guessing I've just reached the highest point of Easington Colliery so, uh, so I'm going to go and check out see what's going on and um, I'm sure I'll be back in a little while with some more footage and uh, Monday you go.